Hey everybody, welcome in. Now, since I have upgraded Big Bad Wolf, I've been trying to use him and get the most out of some of his abilities. So let us go through and talk about this and then we'll go jump into some matches. So his basic, not only now is it going to be dealing extra critical chance when the target is uh, below 70%, but guaranteed when it's below 50%. That is just amazing. But then on top of that, the last upgrade at level 4 is going to give him 30% chance to do an extra attack if the target hero is below 70%. That's massive. With below 70, he's going to get more chance, bonus chance at critical strikes. And then guaranteed at under 50%, that is, that is some additional damage stacking right there and that's amazing um now his huff and his puff what made quite a big a bit of a difference to making him relevant is actually having his his him his aoe his him him his aoe's dealing aoe damage but also purging taunts at max level now it also can uh, put defense down which means more damage which is always nice but the aoe purge taunt is amazing and now we'll get into more things as we go through his kit too but uh, this this max level one is going to be locked behind gear eight um, but it's pretty much going to give an extra turn when he knocks on out and this hits hard uh, 7k just straight damage and then he's going to restore 40 percent of the damage that he deals but also in his uh, in his passives, we're gonna see why his attacks also deal a whole lot more damage, because they're gonna deal more damage, thirty five percent more damage against hero characters. That that thirty five percent more for that seven k in all of his AOEs, so much better. And then upon defeat upon a uh, uh, on a hero opponent. Uh, you'll increase magic of all abilities by one so that is amazing as well just a, an anti-hero which is pretty cool to see um, so he can deal so much damage he's got a lot going about him and because I played in the beta there was an opportunity where they tested out different ways to get skins and I managed to pick up this skin here which is his not big bad wolf so it's a big bad wolf in a piggy costume so it's pretty cool um, it's it's one of those things that it doesn't look that great, but it's also pretty cool. It's just one of those just like crazy little things. So there is that, but I do have an attack damage stone on him because his offense is probably one of the best things about him. And then with all the stacking damage with the crits and with the more damage to heroes, that is exactly what you want him for. He's a little bit on the slow side, but with the newer gear he will be picking up the 7.5 gear, he'll be picking up a little bit of speed, um, so that is going to help him as well, so he, he gets a lot of defense, health, um, offense, and the speed is the thing that he needs the most, because that's why he's falling out of the middle, just too slow, can't get anything off, but that can be fixed, so let's jump into some matches, and we'll see how we can fix it. All right, we've got ourselves a Frozen Zerg team, so this should be a decent showing on Big Bad Wolf to what he can do. And what we are going to do for a start is just protect ourselves, get through the early stages. I want to let Kristoff get, his, get off his taunt because I want to try and just get rid of it with Big Bad Wolf. So boom, he can give that to Zerg. I don't mind. Now I want to speed up my characters and get Hero having a turn really quickly so it doesn't matter like not, no, no one else on my team is going to be trying to attack just yet I want to taunt with Gizmo so he can take all the crits from Zerg I don't mind that but I also want to go and give this now to Big Red Wolf and we'll see this this AoE taunt purger in action boom look at that damage Whew! Just like shredding through, oh, and then with all the dam all the buffs that pop on up, Scrooge gets to go off. I don't mind that at all. De defense down on Zerg. 
I'll take it. I don't mind. My gizmo can take that damage. He can eat it all up. And now I've got like a half of a frozen crew left. Which is... Which is amazing. And Kristoff's not even taunting. But even if he was, he's nearly, he's nearly gone. So this is... This is... I am liking the look of this. I can I can definitely work with this. So get rid of anything that we don't need, even though there's no hero on our opposing team. But protect ourselves again. Don't need to worry about getting sniped from Zerg. And and there we go. This should be this should be just rolling through it now. So this is this is a nice little bonus. I like it. Now I want to start from I'm gonna start from Sven's end. Because I should be able to hit through to Elsa. Boom, boom, boom. And then. Don't need to worry about Sven getting buffs anymore. Don't need to worry about Kristoff coming back. Summoning and taunting. And now I can just go and chew through Elsa. That's, that is exactly what we want to see. So thank you, Big Bad Wolf. That is, that is exactly it. That is exactly all we needed. And enough to protect Gizmo. This is this should be done. This should be done right here. So I can I can definitely dig that. Now let's see if we can purge from no no purge. I don't even mind Zerg having a turn. He's got offense down. He's not gonna be able to snipe me, so and even then my taunter has got undefeatable, so I'll take that. I'll definitely definitely take that. Boom. Offense down too much with defense up and everything else. Just too much to deal with. Big Bad Wolf. Now let's see him get a big hit off. And let's get rid of that bucket. Because, boom, look at that. Look at his high damage and the healing that goes with it. It's just, it's just what you need. Like, now I feel he will be able to slot in to an added extra on a lot of teams when you're just using him when you're using him as like check this basic out guaranteed crits boom he's gonna deal some damage he is gonna deal some damage all right let's jump into another match and let's see if we can find another another opponent to showcase good old big bad wolf all right we have got ourselves a hero bubbles frozen which is uh, potentially not going to make the video if we've got a crash. <laughs> no, all right, we're here. Um, sneak peek behind the scenes. Uh, all right, but we'll get off our shields. We'll protect ourselves, kind of like we did for the last match. Just stop ourselves from getting silenced from Elsa right out the bat. And now, this time, let's get up. We'll set ourselves up. And ta -da! protect ourselves, get our buffs extended, get the taunts going off with Gizmo. That is exactly what we need. Now we want to see if Kristoff gets his taunt off here and here. And if he does, this is going to be perfect timing for Hero. Perfect timing for Hero. Now I can just like just give this on to Big Bad Wolf. And boom! Ooh, look at that damage. When he hits a crit as well, woo, he is going to be throwing up some damage, getting rid of the taunts, not locked behind Kristoff anymore, even though Kristoff is surviving with those defensive and those buffs, now I can just go and try and finish off Elsa, I can go finish off Bubbles, and I just don't even need to worry about Kristoff, which is awesome. This is, this is exactly what is needed when anyone wants to run Big Bad Wolf. There we go. Elsa, don't have to worry. This is this is perfect. Perfect, perfect timing for... Ah, oh, Scrooge. I love it. All right. And now... Uh, okay, Elsa's in stasis, so I won't be able to do my money dive and wipe the three. If I do it, I'm only going to be able to get one. So let's just take... Oh, can't even take Chris off. The defense up. Whew. But... That I should have just I should have just waited for Elsa to come out of it, but she's gonna be an easy wipe now that she's gone anyway, and uh, Scrooge just goes and does it anyway. I'll take that. So at least I weakened weakened 
uh, Christoph with that. So more taunts, but at least he's already low HP. Elsa's gone, the threats are gone, and Big Bad Wolf is about to have his turn and shine. So let's go. Bah. I want to kind of swap costumes because he does a cool little sheep disguise in his other costume, which now he's already in disguise, so you don't get to see it. Um, but man, he is he is devastating. He is completely devastating. Let's just give this to Scrooge since it's Scrooge's Scrooge's turn to come back in, so he can steal more, make sure he's refreshed, and then we can let Big Bad Wolf go to town after Anna's turn. So that's fine. Oh, Scrooge, thank you, thank you, Scrooge. And like this, having Anna down under that under that 50% mark is just going to mean guaranteed crits. That means high damage, more damage because she's a hero. So, boom. Oof. Ah, oh, and the assist from Gizmo. And the, I was like, oh, wait, did I not take her? Oh, Gizmo. So, Big Bad Wolf is, he's the real deal. Now, let's go and take his costume off. And there he is. Oh, dust myself off. And let's go jump into another match and let's just see, see just for a finale, how, what else we can do with him. Because he, I might have to cut to another match. So stay with me. Nope, we found someone. Okay, that's even, that's even better. So... Let's see how we do. Another Kristoff Zerg. This time a Zerg hero. So I'll take that. I'll defend against Elsa. So she doesn't go and silence me right off the bat. And hopefully we can let Kristoff. We'll do the same. And hopefully let Kristoff taunt. And just get our buffs off with Scrooge. Ah oh, no. I was completely expecting that to be Scrooge. Now... Normally, the turn order would be Scrooge and then Gizmo, but Gizmo had a bit of extra speed boost that time. So, I'm going to allow for Kristoff to jump on in there. He can give the crits to Zerg or Elsa, whoever he wants. And I don't even need to purge it. So, let's just see what... I, would, I wish... <laughs> this is one of those times where I wish Scrooge went and stole it from Zerg that time <laughs> because I can deal with the crits now. So what we're going to do anyway is that even though he can though, he can try and snipe Scrooge with that crit. Ooh, ooh, he didn't go for the snipe though. That could be a big backfire. So since the taunt is gone, I'm just going to go AoE anyway and... Huff, puff, boom. 8k. We can take out Hero. We can take out the rest. I'm going to sleep Elsa right about now. And let's start just chewing through Hero. Get rid of the rest. And our assist with Big Bad Wolf assisting is just nasty. Now I'm just going to give him another turn. Because I want him to be able to... Let's go. Offense up. Let's take out Zerg. Boom. 10k even on Zerg gets more when mm. okay I am going to I'm just gonna go wake up the crew here boop, boop, boop. and the reason why I did that oh she got the evade I'll, I'll let that happen that's all right get rid of that haste and now heal up Zerg or heal up Zerg Scrooge heal up Scrooge and I think Elsa, I'm just going to attack again, but she should already have lost her stiasis yet. Because Scrooge's dive hit her while she was asleep, so it negated it activating. So that is perfectly, perfectly exactly as we need it. So I should be able to wipe her next time. Sleep? <laughs> None of that. None of that, thank you. Um, but, man... Let's get around, let's get around to Big Bad Wolf and let him do his, alright, that's fine, you can silence Scrooge, I don't mind, he's having his turn. Giving Zerg a turn, now he, he will be able to have a snipe now though, 
So, good, oh, because you're unkillable, just saying. Now, let's get, let's get uh, the back crew wiped, and I should be able to just go through and wipe the rest. I want to sleep, sleep the old Christoph right there, and do I want to wake him up? Let's wake him up. I'm just going to go, crit. Oh, the double crit follow-up. That is, that is Big Bad Wolf's power right there. Like, having his basic done up, that 30% chance to hit another one when he's guaranteeing those crits. Whoo, chewing through Kristoff. There we go. What do you guys think? Are you guys impressed with Big Bad Wolf? He is now, he ran himself out of the meta at, at the old uh, tier 7, he was too slow, he just couldn't provide enough, I think he's back, I think he's back, he may even be able to deal with Big Hero 6, and early, had the pre-taunt uh, Baymax, boom, heroes have a turn, have hero go first, give it to, give it to Wolf, purge, hit all the heroes, super damage, purge that taunt, take out who you want, whoever's left, there's there's some chance, and if I get some Wolf versus Big Hero 6 action, I'll bring it to you all. So let me know if you want to see that. Let me know what you guys think about Big Bad Wolf, and whoo, let's carry on with these showcases. So let me know who you want to see next, or else I'll just um, I'll just continue on. But but man, the the teams are nasty. This is who we're going to be going through. I, I do need to do another one on Shan Yu since they have updated and fixed the things that I talked about in his last showcase. So he is worth having another sh showcase look at. But make your picks. Let me know what you guys think about Big Bad Wolf. I think I think he has his place back in the middle with all these superhero teams and the taunts. It's someone who can deal with it all. Someone who can deal with it all. Now... If you're not subscribed and you like this type of video, you love these showcases, I find it helpful, consider subscribing, stick around, I will have plenty more of these to come, and thank you all for the support, and I'll jump down and see you all in the comments below.